Hello, Rick off here. Welcome to video number 34 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. This photo shows the results of the elapsed time test that was conducted in video number 33. In this video, I will be continuing my explanation of the XNote stopwatch functions and settings, with particular emphasis on the snap function. First, let me show you how to enable the snap function and set its parameters. This is done by calling up the XNote stopwatch menu and selecting external control which opens the external control settings window. Now let me just briefly go over the settings that I'm using here. Uh, as I said I'm going to use COM1 uh, the COM port on the back of my computer, the 9-pin COM port. And so I go down here and uh, right now it's set to none for start and stop. I need to bullet the uh, middle group, RTS, CTS, uh, pins 7 and 8. That's the pin 7 and 8 that I'll be using to uh, start and stop the timer. Now, there's a line down here that says state, and uh, that would tell you the state uh, that the switch is in when, when you activate the switch. Uh, it would go from off to on, and then on to off if you use that setting. However, what I'll be doing with my mini lever switch, uh, each time the switch is activated, it goes from off to on each time. So what I need to do is change the setting here to off on, off on. Okay. Now there's another setting down here called snap. And I'll be explaining this. I'll, I'll, I'll show a demonstration of snap, what, it's, what the snap function does. Uh, for the time being, though, I'll show you how I set it up. Um, now, that, I'll set that up with, by bulleting the DTR DSR. And up here in the diagram, it says DTR DSR. See that? And it's pins 4 and 6 of the 9-pin connector. So DTR DSR pins 4 and 6. So that's set uh, the state on that off to on. Uh, so I have a, I'm going to have to use a second mini lever switch to do the snap. And, uh, and then down at the bottom of the window, uh, there's a box you should check mark that says enable. Now this uh, enables the settings that you've just made. And then you click OK. I'm going to do a demonstration now to show you the snap function. And to do that, I'll do a 12 second test. And at each 2 second mark during that interval, I'll uh, click the snap button. And then I'll show you the results when I'm done. Okay, here goes. Start. Snap. Snap, 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 end. And then I give it one more snap at the end. All right. Now I click the, the more button to show the menu. And I click on show results window. Okay, there's the results window. Now, I don't know if you can see it all that well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Maybe that will help. Now, what you're looking at, you have an N. And that re corresponds to the number of each uh, hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, in the next column, I have uh, time, it says. Now, that, that shows the uh, time. Uh, the elapsed time at each click. All right. So after starting, my first click showed that I was 
two seconds and fifteen one hundredths. Second click, four seconds and seventeen hundredths, and so on. Now, at the next uh, column, we have uh, percentage, and uh, these figures show the percentage of um, the elapsed time at each mark. So we were 17.6% at the first mark, 34.1% at the second, 52% at the third, 65.7% at the fourth, 83.7% at the fifth, and at the sixth mark uh, we have 100%. Now the next column is the gap column, and uh, this represents uh, how much of each section uh, of a gap there was in relation to the total time. And so you see that uh, by having these snaps, the snap time sequences, it's very useful to determine the actual duration in time of each section. Uh, and therefore I can, I can divide my, um, my test wheel into uh, different sections which correspond to sections of uh, magnet layouts on the rotor. Now the, the final uh, column here is uh, percentage and this shows me what percentage of the gap each section was in relation to the total time so I can compare the results uh, running between uh, each section and, um, and then I have a result window here which I can export say I can use this copy to clipboard I click that and then I've got a complete record stored on my computer in the clipboard and I can uh, bring that into an Excel database file uh, it's be just beautiful the way this uh, X note stopwatch works. It, it, it's a fantastic program, and anybody out there who's doing time test uh, techniques in their experiments, you're going to want this program. Believe me, it's it's such a beautiful program and a, a wonderful time saver. You, you can buy this program and register it for only twenty four dollars it, it's just fantastic for what it does that, that's a great price so I really urge everyone out there to to get a hold of this program and start using it now next I'm going to show you how I um, have set up the uh, the remote control function so that uh, I showed you the connections that can be made on your computer on the 9-pin uh, COM port. Okay, and I'll sh I'm going to show you now how a, um, how I set up a cable. I made up a cable to run between my uh, mini lever switches. I have one switch for the um, uh, on-off function and, and then a second switch for the snap functions, okay? You, in order to do this, you have to have two separate switches. And uh, I'm going to show you now the arrangement that I have set up. Now, let me just close this window. Now, here's the 9-pin connector, the cable end connector, that I'm going to use to make the connection to my COM port on the computer. And um, as you can see, this is a, a nine-pin female connector. And as I said earlier, this is what is uh, being shown in the uh, directions for making connections uh, that are in the help section of the XNote stopwatch. And this is Radio Shack part number 276 dash 1538. We are almost out of time in this video so I'll continue my explanation in video number 35. Thanks for watching.